I'm going to do a motion clarity comparison between this CRT, a Dell M782P, and my LG C1 at 120 FPS with OLED Motion Pro High. And as you can see, this CRT can go as high as 2048 by 1536 at 100 Hz. But it's really, you know, it is just 1024 by 768. But, you know, the CRT doesn't have a native resolution anyway. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the resolution because uh, to test the UFO accurately, we have, we need to have the, you know, just the native resolution. So I'm going to, I'm going to go back to 1024 by 768. So I'm changing it here. And everything looks better. Everything looks more clear, more sharp. But when I play games, I prefer to use NVIDIA DLDSR 2.25X of the native resolution. And that looks very good. And I can get all the performance I want. I can turn on ray tracing and yeah, it's, it's very easy to run. Uh, you know, the only problem I have with the CRT is the screen size. It's just too small. So you see, I can do 1024 by 768 at 100 Hz to reduce the flickering of the recording. But I want to show you that this CRT actually can do 75 Hz <laughs> and be perfect too. So we don't need to run it at 100 Hz to get better motion clarity. We can just have 75 Hz like here, 1280 by 1024 and it looks sharper and it's still gonna have perfect motion clarity so let's change this ufo a little bit no background just one ufo and as you can see i have the speed at 960 pixels per second and that's going to take a little bit over one second to go from left to right so that's very fast so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to follow the ufo test with my camera to simulate the eye tracking okay and hopefully you can see how clear it is you can see the alien eyes is the idea you can see the alien eyes it's difficult to time that is clear Now you will see that the LGC one is doesn't come even close to this motion clarity. You see, you can see the alien eyes. So now I can increase the speed of the test and I do not see any blur whatsoever. I can increase this to 1920 pixels per second, which it is very fast on the screen. It's like half a second to go from left to right. And I can still see the alien eyes, but it is so fast that I cannot distinguish if the alien eyes are a little bit blurry. Because the key here is one pixel of motion blur looks like this. So you can see the alien eyes, the pupils are sharp. So two pixels of motion blur, the alien eyes, you can distinguish them, but they are going to be a little bit blurry. So now this is moving so fast that I cannot confirm <laughs> if they are perfectly sharp. And because I've never seen the Blur Busters uh, chief say or write anywhere that CRTs can have less than one millisecond of persistence, I am not going to claim that my CRT has less than one millisecond of persistence because I'm going to be wrong, <laughs> okay? If the chief doesn't say that, I'm not going to say it because he knows more than me. Okay, he's the reference when it comes to motion clarity. So if you've ever seen him on any of the, on the Blur Busters forums say that the CRT can be less than one millisecond of persistence, let me know. But I'm going to try to follow the UFO test so you see that actually it is still clear. Let me see. One, I have to time this. Let me level the camera. One, two, three. Four, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, faster, I have to do it faster, one, two, three, one, two, three, 
That's very, 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 very difficult to, to follow. I would need a machine to basically match the speed of the UFO test. I'm going to try one more time and then I'm going to switch to the LGC one. One, two, three. And I have the speed, 1920 pixels per sec. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. E <laughs> so it's too, it's too fast, man. Too fast. I cannot do it with a camera. But trust me, I can definitely eye track the UFO test and I can clearly see the pupils of the alien. I can see the pupils. So now what I cannot for sure say that the pupils are sharp or blurry. I cannot confirm that because it is too fast on the screen. So I would need a CRT with a higher resolution to confirm that. And the problem is when I increase the resolution of the test, then the it is not accurate. It doesn't look good when I do that. So if I increase the resolution, let's say I do this 1020, 2048 by 1536, for example. I do this at 100 hertz. The problem is that you see everything looks blurry, kind of blurry. And then I would need to, the games look great. If I open a game like this, it's going to look great. But then the UFO test is not accurate anymore. You see, it looks like pixelated. That's not accurate anymore. And then it's not an accurate testing. But I could, I could reduce the zoom here, try to, but then the UFO test, it doesn't look the same. It doesn't look the same. It's like, it's not an accurate. It's not accurate. I cannot see the pupils anyway, just because of the scaling and the, and the higher resolution. But anyway, it is fantastic. I would call the motion clarity of my CRT because of the screen size and because of the resolution that it supports. I would call that perfect. It's infinite <laughs> motion clarity. Why? Because my eyes are not able to see the defect. So the only defects that I have is the stroboscopic effects of finite resolutions. <laughs> I might do a separate video about that, which is basically you see the mouse. It looks like double, triple, quadruple. You see, it's not like perfect. And this is called a stroboscopic effects of finite uh, refresh rates. And to eliminate those stroboscopic effects, you need an insane amount of hertz. And then you need some motion blur to eliminate other artifacts. And then it's, it's, it becomes a mess to get like, it is very difficult to get absolutely perfect motion clarity. But I mean, I would call this perfect be, be, just because I cannot see the limit. So now let's take a look at the LGC one. I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to jump to the LGC one. Okay, so I have the LGC one now running at 4K and make sure when you do this testing that you have the scaling at 100% and the zoom on the browser is also 100%. You see a zoom on the browser, 100%. Okay, so you see here on the LG C1, we're going to use OLED Motion Pro High and we have 120 Hertz. So now, I'm going to start with the speed at 960 pixels per second and you will see that the UFO is blurry. It is a lot easier to follow than the CRT because it is taking a lot longer to go from left to right. It's, like it's taking four seconds to go from left to right. So focus on the, on the pupils of the alien. It is blurry. You cannot distinguish the pupils. They look double. The pupils of the alien look double. Let me try to. It's tough to follow. <laughs> Let me try to do a better job here. Okay. It's tough to follow. Last time. I think I got it. So now I'm going to change the speed of the test to 480 pixels per second, okay? And now you will see that it looks almost perfect. 
almost perfect. You can clearly see the pupils. So now, the pupils are still not perfect. They are very good, but it is not absolutely perfect, like one pixel of motion blur. But it is not two pixels of motion blur either. It is not two pixels of motion blur either. It is between one and two. So based on my testing, I'm going to change the speed to 360 pixels per second because based on my testing, that is uh, almost the maximum motion clarity we can have here. Okay, so I changed the speed of the test to 360 pixels per second. And now you can see it is perfect. Now it is perfect. Okay, so what that means is that the LG C1 with OLED Motion Pro High is almost like 360 hertz sample and hold. And the reason why I say almost is because the pupils are still not one pixel of motion blur. There is a little bit more than one pixel of motion blur on the test. You might think, oh, that looks perfect already, but it is not. I'm going to show you when I reduce the speed how it is actually one pixel of motion blur. And then I'm going to show you with a slower speed, no pixels of motion blur. So let me get closer here. This is 360 pixels per second. So now let me reduce the speed. Now look at the difference now. I have 240 pixels per second. Look at the difference now. This is perfect. So now the reason why one millisecond of persistence equal to one pixel of motion blur when moving at 1000 pixels per second. The reason why one pixel of motion blur is considered perfect is because sitting at a normal viewing distance, that's the best you can distinguish. And I am not at a normal viewing distance. I am zooming in. So one pixel of motion blur is not perfect okay it's not perfect is no no pixels of motion blur the perfect is this the picture looks like it is not moving whatsoever okay this is perfect but this is not one pixel of motion blur one pixel of motion blur well maybe it is i might be wrong on that one okay but my point is that one pixel of motion blur means one pixel of motion blur means half a pixel on the trailing edge and half a pixel of motion blur on the leading edge, which is not this. Okay? So when you have a speed that is a slower than what you can go, then you get perfect motion clarity. So here, we see that it looks better than before. It looks sharper than before, but it is not necessary. We can move faster and at 360 pixels per second, we can say that the LG C1 is like a 360 Hertz sample and hold monitor when you have 120 Hertz with OLED Motion Pro High. And now if I change to medium, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change from high to medium and I'm going to be recording the UFO test so you hopefully you can see the difference okay let me I track let me track this one make sure that I have when I change see the difference <laughs> I know that that was almost Im impossible to detect but yeah, there is a small difference, okay? There's a, sm a small difference. So now with medium, we have basically 50% duty cycle. So we are doubling the motion clarity. We are reducing the brightness in half. So with OLED Motion Pro medium at 120 hertz, this looks like a 240 hertz OLED. 
And this is one pixel of motion blur. This is considered perfect. This is considered perfect. You see, it's not as good as it was with high. But technically, we do not need high if we are moving at this speed. Okay? So let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.